When Zion Williamson first popped onto the scene, it was just an amazing sight to see. It was just his explosiveness and the way he completely dominated everyone he played against. He's the type of player that you only see once every couple of decades. But we all know how his career is turning out. He went on to dominate at Duke and he was eventually drafted first overall pick to the Pelicans. Now I don't know how good they are going to be this year but they do have a lot of young talent so they should be straight. But there is one player that at a point in time we were all talking about but now we don't hear about him anymore. And that's Zion Williamson's old teammate Chandler Lindsay. Of course Zion was taking up most of the shine but Chandler Lindsay was really making a name for himself too. Basically if Zion wasn't making plays Chandler Lindsay was. But he graduated back in 2018 and we don't hear about him as much on the basketball court anymore. Where is he now? What's good everybody? Welcome back. It's time for me to shout out a subscriber, so this video goes out to Elliot O'Keefe. I've been seeing you asking for a shout out for a while, so here you go. I really appreciate your support, man. But if you want to get shouted out in my next video, all you got to do is leave a comment down below and maybe you'll be next. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that you turn on the notification bell and follow me on my social medias. I'm going to leave the links down in the description. But enough of all that talking. Let's get into this video. Now, like I said before, all eyes were really on Zion Williamson. But with all that attention, it really helped shed light on his teammates. And that's how we know of Chandler Lindsay. But for the ones who've never heard of him, Chandler Lindsay is a 5'11 point guard. But despite barely touching 6 feet, his athletic ability really makes up for his size. This man got hops for real. A couple of his dunks went viral and one of them he got so high that he almost hit his head on the rim. So yeah, his height really didn't matter. And besides the fact that he is very athletic, he really had a very solid all around game. He averaged 14 points, 6 rebounds and 3 assists. Instead of just seeing his highlights of him dunking, I was able to see some raw footage of him playing. And with him being the second leading scorer on the team, he just seemed to be able to score at will. What mostly stood out was his ability to get to the basket whenever he wanted to. He drives through the lane strong and he was making acrobatic finishes with both hands. And in some of the cases, he was finishing on players that were much taller than him. Chandler Lindsay and Zion alone really was scoring all the points in the paint for the team. But with him being a threat in the paint, the defense started to sag off on him. And this allowed him to show off his jump shot. Now, there's definitely a lot more footage of him driving than shooting, but I did see him knock down a couple of threes, so we can just assume that he got that in his arsenal. And to add on to his all-around game, this guy is very active on the boards. You can always catch him on the glass, and he be getting a lot of putback dunks. And to add on to how much he was a factor for his team, he really enjoyed getting everybody involved. He is just always finding an open man. Whether he just doing a simple bounce pass to help his team make it an easy bucket or he just throwing the oop up to Zion. Either way, they just blowing teams out. And last but not least, this dude is a real problem on the defensive end. He's like one of those very energetic defenders. Those be the worst. And we all remember the lack of competition of the division that they were playing in. It was like their opponents were just scared to play. So Chandler Lindsay was basically just bullying these kids. And he would just get steal after steal. And this was what led to all those fast break dunks that he was getting. And if Chandler Lindsay was to miss anything, Zion Williamson was coming to clean it up with the putback dunks. He just had so many victims, man. It's just sad. Imagine being dunked on by the best player in the country and then have him scream you too little right in front of your face. A lot of kids went viral for the wrong reason. How do you face your friends at the lunch table the next day? How do you explain that to your girl? It's just embarrassing for real. It's a cold world. But anyways, before Chandler Lindsay got this exposure, he had no scholarship offers at all. But he displayed that he could play and eventually the offers did come in. As of now in the present day, he is playing basketball at Coker University. It's a D2 college in South Carolina. Now, before the trolls get to talking crazy down in the comment section, let me explain something. Just because you're not playing D1 doesn't mean that you're not good. Even this last year, they had a D2 player who was invited to the NBA Draft Combine. And plus, they pay for your tuition, so considering the fact that most people don't go to college after high school, especially to play basketball. Chandler Lindsay, I gotta chalk this up as a W, bro. Make sure that y'all go show him some love on his Instagram. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. Peace. I'm not a dummy, I know that y'all fake and don't love me If I was broke, y'all would be gone like the wind Ten out of ten, I'm a win Money come out, type the pen, I grew up with fake friends Ran out of the 30s, pop 10 Pop in the semi out van, I got stabbed in my face Still a pull up on your bait No, no time to fuck, fuck up a face It be all smell when we up and we all count money They want on broke on the flame Put it all on me, all the problems put a mile on me All the bills
Thomas put them all on me. They call 12 on me. First time locked up 16. Miss my cuz, she was only 16. Love mama crazy. I ain't dumb, bitch. I had AP. Drop that shit, cause I love the money. Feel like no one love me. Just a op and my gun at me. Let it off, then I book it on feet.